Good day everyone! We are the group 3 and we're here to show you how gas loss works. And now let's start to our first experiment that is all about combined gas law. Combined gas law is a combination of Boyce law, Charles law, and Gase Lussac's law. It also states that the pressure and the volume are inversely proportional to each other and proportional to the temperature of gas. And to make this experiment possible, we need to use the materials such as basin, tongs, ice, and soda can. First, put a little bit water to the soda can. Now, heat the soda can to the gas stove. Make sure it is super hot. And now, place the soda can to the basin with ice and water using tongs. As you can see, the soda can is definitely crushed when it plays into the ice with water. This explains combined gas low. Let's move on to the Avogadro's Law. It state that in a constant pressure and temperature, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of moles. It is also means that if a volume of a gas increases, the number of moles increases, vice versa. Here are the materials that we need to use for this experiment. First, we have the vinegar baking soda, empty bottle, and balloons. First, put vinegar into the empty bottle. Second, put baking soda inside the balloon. Next, place the balloon at the top of the bottle. Now, slowly pour the baking soda in the balloon and see what will happen. As you can see, the balloon inflated because of the chemical reaction caused by the vinegar and baking soda. And that explains Avogadro's law. Let's move on to the next experiment, which is the boil slow. Boil slow state that a constant temperature the temperature of the gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. This means that as the pressure increases, the volume of the gas decreases, vice versa. Here are the materials. We have empty bottle and balloons. So first, cut the bottle into half. Use a cutter or scissor to cut the bottle. Now, Cover the bottom of the plastic bottle of the half balloon. Now, put a whole balloon into the top of the bottle and stretch the top over the opening. And last, pull the balloon on the bottom of the bottle. The balloon inside the bottle should 
inflate and deflate. As you can see, the balloon inside the bottle is inflated and deflated by the pressure and volume. And that explains boys low. Let's move on to the next experiment which is the gay Lusak's low. This experiment says that at the constant volume, the pressure of gas is directly proportional to its temperature and also means that as the temperature increases, the pressure increases, vice versa. And here are the materials. We have plate, glass, colored water, and matches. So first, pour the colored water on the plate. Next, place the candle in the middle of the plate. Now, light the candle. And gently place the glass around the candle. And see what will happen. As you can see, the water inside the glass rises up as the fire fades away because of the pressure, and that explains Gay's Lusak slow. Now, let's move on to the last experiment, which is the Charles Slow. This experiment states that at the constant pressure, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature. This also means that as the temperature increases, the volume also increases, vice versa. So here are the materials to make this experiment possible. We have hot water, basin, and empty bottle. First, crush the bottle to let some air out, then close it. Then put the bottle in the boiling water. Look, how the air inside of the bottle start to expand. As you can see, the bottle formed to its original formation. And that explains Charles Low. And that's all for this video. Once again, we are the group 3 and I hope that you will like it and learn something to our experiment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching!